A hypergeometric distribution is similar to a binomial distribution in that it has two possible outcomes, success or failure. However, while the binomial distribution relies on independent trials, the hypergeometric distribution relies on dependent trials. So that means the probability of success changes with each successive trial. To calculate the probability of x successes, you can use the formula a choose x times n minus a choose r minus x divided by n choose r, where a is the number of successful outcomes, n is the number of possible outcomes, and r is the number of dependent trials. So here's an example. Determine the probability distribution for the number of women on a six-member jury selected from a pool of eight men and ten women. The selection process involves dependent events since each person who is already chosen for the jury cannot be selected again. Since the question is asking for a probability distribution, I'm going to set up my table like this where x is the number of women on the jury and p of x is the probability that there are that many women. If I want to use my probability formula, I need to know what the variables are. a is the number of successful outcomes. So in this case, success would be a woman being selected for the jury. So since there are 10 women, there are 10 possible successes. So A is 10. N is the number of possible outcomes. Well, there's 8 men and 10 women, so that means there are 18 possible outcomes. R is the number of dependent trials. Well, it's a six-member jury, so there are going to be six selections. That means six trials. So R is 6. So here's my probability formula for a hypergeometric distribution. I know the values of A, N, and R, so I'll just replace those. So that's how my formula looks now. So now I can figure out the probability for each possible number of women selected. I could have no women selected, one woman, two, three, four, five, or six women selected for the six-member jury. So if I want to find the probability that the number of women on the jury is zero, I'm trying to calculate P zero. So I'll just replace X with zero. So this is my formula now. And that simplifies to this. So if you plug that into your calculator, you should get 0 0.00151, approximately. So I'll just plug that into my probability distribution chart. Now I can do the same process to figure out the probability that one woman is selected. And I end up with 0 0.03017 as my probability. I can do it again for the probability that two women are selected. And I can keep doing that all the way to six women. I'll just save some time and show you the final result. And as you can see, the probability is highest for three women being selected. And I could use this probability distribution table to make a probability distribution graph. So I could plot the graph and it would look something like this. And that could lead into the next question. What is the expected number of women on the jury? Well, the formula for the expected value of your variable is r times a divided by n. And just remember, r is the number of dependent trials, a is the number of successful outcomes, and n is the number of possible outcomes. So I already went through this above, but r was 6, a was 10, 
n was 18. So if you do the math, you get a value of 3 and a third. So you would expect about 3.33 women on the jury.